Hey, bestie. Hey. That was a nice game. Yeah. Let's play again tomorrow. Okay, I can't wait. Bye, best friends. Bye. Alina has left the chat. The next morning. Yay, me and Alina is gonna play Roblox. I should talk to her now so that we can play now. Alina is offline right now. Oh, I guess I'm late. Maybe tomorrow. The next day. Alina, I got 20,000 Robux. Oh, you're still not online. That's okay. I'm gonna give you half of my Robux. 2,000 years later. What is this game? Oh, Roblox. I have a friend. Boston? Oh my god, I missed him. He's playing Ragdoll NG, let's join him. She joined Ragdoll Engine. Boston. Who the FCAC are you? Shuts up, Bacon. I'm your friend from six years ago. I don't even know you. Stop dreaming. I'm telling the truth. Babe, can we give us a minute? Sure, babe. Oh, is she your girlfriend? Yeah, no, who are you? I'm Alina. I'm your friend. Oh, um. You even gave me half of your Robux when you got one. I remember I've missed you so much, Alina. Ah. I'll give you more Robux and change your avatar so that I can add you to our GC. Gives 20,000 Robux. That's a lot, but thanks. She changes. Gorgeous. Oh, thanks. Now I'm gonna add you. Boston 1 to 3 4 5 added Alina Cuke. Hey guys, this is Alina, my long lost friend. Hello. Hey. Hey guys. Can you introduce yourself? I don't really know y'all. You're no way. Okay. Sure. My name is Frankie. Taylor. Megan. You. Uh. Rue, just say it. Anyways, her name is Jenna. F you. Shut up. Okay. Anyways, y'all want face reveal? Sure. I'll go first. This is me. Gosh, you're beautiful. Oh, uh, thanks. Yeah, you are. No, she's not babe. She's ugly. So pretty. Stunning. I turn. Beautiful. Pretty. Thanks. My turn. This me. Handsome. Cool. Nice. Thank. My turn this is me. Badass. Ugly. Shut up, brother. You're gorgeous. Thanks. Now mine. You're so hot, babe. Pretty. Brew shut the F up. He's mine. Yo, chill. She's not trying to take him from you. Take her like Brew. One more word, Lindsay, and I'm gonna slap you. Just leave her alone, you moron. I know, right? Ficking psychopath. Look at them, babe. They trying to team me up. Guys, stop it already. Are you really gonna take that side? She's my girlfriend, okay? Yeah, dude. Damn, you really changed Boston. Let's just play the hood. Good idea. They joined the hood. See Taylor. Oh, hey, Taylor. <coughs> Idiot. Hey, thanks. No problem. Get off her, man. What the? I just helped her. Yeah, bro, shut up. My bad. All right. Alina, can you leave us for a minute? Okay. Hey, Taylor. Do you like her? Who? Alina. Oh, um, no. We're just friends. I mean, we're all friends. Why do you like her? But no, we're friends. Oh, okay. What are you guys talking about? Nothing. Oh, okay. Anyways, Taylor, thanks again. No problem. Hey, babe. Hey. I've been looking for you. Oh, yeah, me too. Let's go.
I see you there. You like him? Yeah, a long time now. Oh, okay, I'm off. Okay, bye. Team Taylor or Team Boston. That was a good game last night. Yeah. You know what, guys? I kind of ship Taylor and Alina. That's true. Brew guys, we're just friends. Oh, yeah. And I liked someone else. Who, Who is, is it? it? Oh, Alina, you got two. Why are you curious, babe? She's my friend, Brew. Brew, okay. Hey, Million, can I private chat you with Allison? Okay. If you don't mind asking who was your crush, we can help you confess to them. I will tell it to y'all. I know I can trust y'all. Yeah, you can trust us. In Boston, I've liked him for a long time now. But he has a girlfriend. Oh. I thought it was going to be Taylor. I'm Team Taylor. Shut up, Frankie. Anyways, that's good. We respect you. Thank you, guys. Wait, be right back. Taylor is better. Yeah. Wait, do you like my brother? Yeah. Brew what? I'm just kidding. You're almost caught. Oh, I don't care if you like him. Oh, okay. Hey, Boston. What is it, babe? I'm breaking up with you. Oh, why? I just don't like you and I'm just using you for Robux. What? I can't believe I fell for it. Well, you're dumb. So not my fault. I even loved you. Don't hate the player. Hate the game. Are you okay? Of course. I'm not. What happened? I know you saw everything. Now leave me alone. I just want to help. I don't want your help now. Shut up and leave me alone. You good? Oh, hi. Yes, I'm good. I'm sorry. I can handle it on my own. I'm so sorry. It's okay. I know. You're just trying to help. I'm sorry. I just got mad about what happened. It's okay. I forgive you. Wiping her tears. Thank you. I guess I gotta give up on her. She likes Boston and there's nothing she can do about it. Next day, they hang out together. Hey guys, how are y'all doing? Good. Pretty good. I decided to find a new member. Is she a girl? Yeah, why? Brew, shut up, bro. My bad. Anyways, here she is. Hello, guys. Hello. Oh my god, you're so hot. Um, what? What? Think, I guess. Okay, let's play um MM2. All right. They joined MM2. The game starts. Innocent. Murd. Sheriff. Oh, hey, um. Are you the Murd? Oh, no. Why? Nothing I was just making. Oh, no. Pew! That was close. Brew, why would you do that? What do you mean? Why would you point to him? Alina, he's the Murd. I don't care if you're trying to impress me. Then I'm not impressed. Alina, what do you mean? I was just trying to protect. Then stop protecting me. I don't like you. Liked Boston, now stay away from me. Stop following me like a weirdo. But. You good, bro? Yeah. You can tell me what's wrong. I like her, but she doesn't like me. I keep following around. I'm a total weirdo. That's not your foddle. You, me, and everyone fall in love. It's just up to you if you're willing to take any risk just for her. If you're not destined for each other, you can always find someone else. Remember, they always say fam many fish in the sea. Thank you for making me feel better. What's your name? Zelda. Thank you, Zelda. You're always welcome, bro. What am I gonna do now? Just talk to her and fix everything up. Okay, I'm just gonna apologize to her. All right. Moments later. New couple has arrived. Congrats, both of you. Thanks, guys. What's happening? They're official, like they're in a relationship. Oh, that's good. 
Congratulate us, bro. Oh yeah, congrats dude. Thanks. Oh, and yeah Lena, about what happened earlier. I'm very sorry, I should have. No no, it's fine forget about it. I'm so happy for you guys. Thanks. I'm sorry for what happened bro. I didn't know. No, it's fine, it's completely my fault. I mean, that's good, so thought I won't follow her around anymore. Like a weirdo. No, it's... We should go back to them now. Ten seconds later. What took you all so long? It's nothing. Okay, anyways, let's play the hood. Okay. They joined the hood. Lol, ugly girl. Help. Taylor, thanks. Goodness, you're here. So these. Oh, what did he just ignore me? Ha 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 ha. Why did you just ignore me? Why not? You said you don't want me to help you and keep following you around now. You're mad? I know you like me, Brew. Why are you changing the topic? Anyways. Brew, what's wrong with him? Hey, you. Yeah. You're the new member, right? Yeah, why? Nothing. Anyways, you're close with Taylor, right? Oom, I guess. What's wrong with him nowadays? He got rejected by someone, I guess. Oh, really? That's sad. May I now who? No. Oh, okay. By the way, Taylor is mine, okay? I'm not planning on stealing him. I don't care, back off. What's wrong, Zelda? What did you do to her? I didn't even do anything she was. She just called me the bad names and wish I never joined the group. Damn Brew, I know you're mad at me, but don't bring Zelda in. I didn't even. Shut up, pathetic bread. I thought you were cool at first. Brew, he didn't even let me finish. I guess I'm just so rude to him, but why he hates me now? Hey, Boston, can we talk for just a minute? Don't say bad things to me again. And be quick. I promise so. I realize that I like you. You're just realizing that now. Yeah, I'm so sorry for being late. Forgive you buff thing is I don't like you anymore. Though in fact, you and Boston were dating. We've broken up now because I saw him cheating on me. He is still begging for me to come back aside for that. It's okay. I understand. I'm so sorry for what happened. No, it's okay. We can be friends. Again. Yeah, we're better of in that way. Why are you here again? What do you want? Please, come back. I didn't meant to do that. Bro, Bro stop it. You made a mistake. You don't deserve her. So who deserve her, you? Shut up. She'll never like you. I never want her to be mine and we are friends. And just leave her alone. Fine, you're so dumb. Lol, thank you. No problem. Oh, hey Zelda. Oh. Why are you here with this? And girl, are you guys friends again? Yeah. We're gonna regret this. What did I do wrong? What's happening? Nothing anyways. Gotta go. Taylor, let's talk later. Oh, she's there when you kept rejecting me lol and she's the reason why I have moved on to you. Oh lol. Why didn't you just say you like her? I'm sure she does like you. You really think so? Yup, I do. I'll try, but I'm a bit shy. You can do it. Thank you, Alina. Welcome, Taylor. I didn't know you were such a good friend. I just focus on how much I like you didn't realize you're a good friend. LOL. They chatted for more than three hours. Hey, Alina, I gotta go. Oh, okay. Take care. Yeah, you too. Just text me if Boston is annoying you. Okay. Oh, hey, are you there this whole time? Shut up. I told you to stay away from Taylor and Dio didn't listen. We were just talking. You ho. What did you just call her? Oh no, we're just playing around. Oh, um, yeah. Don't lie to me. I thought you were a good person, Zelda. Let's go, Alina.
Thank you. No problem. And I'm sorry. I thought Zelda was a good person. No, it's okay. I wasn't planning on breaking you guys up. On a random day of 2004. I'm so happy, darling. We will have a baby boy soon. Yet, yeah, just less than a year. Hello, mommy. Hi, dad. I'm home. Welcome home, dear. You both seem cheerful. What makes you so happy? You will have a sibling soon. Yep. And it's a boy. OMG. Really? That sounds great. I always want a brother. Good. So help me to take good care of her, will you? Yes, I will. But a short time after that, something bad happened to their family. Oh my god, what's happening to me? I'm so dizzy. Hey, darling. Are you okay? Walk carefully. Let me help you. Okay, okay. Take me to the room. Slow down. Take a rest. I will make you a cup of warm milk. Hey. Your milk is ready. Wake up and drink this. Hey. Hey. Are you okay? Oh no. She fainted. This is not good. In the hospital. Doctor, is she okay? No. She was suffering from an unknown disease. We saved her, but your baby boy wasn't that lucky. I'm so sorry for your loss. No. I cannot be. Besides, she cannot have a baby ever again. That's all I can tell you. I hope you can overcome that soon. Excuse me. No. This is a huge loss. How could you overcome this harsh reality? I love you, Grace. I know. Everything will be okay. What? Have you heard the whole thing? Yes, and I'll accept that. At least I still have you and Ursula. That's right. We won't leave you, dear. A few months later. Mommy, will you be fine without me? I'll be fine. Focus on studying, Ursula. Okay. I will. Goodbye, Mommy. Goodbye, Dad. See you again after two more years. I will make you proud. Good luck, Ursula. I'll take good care of her. Thank you, Dad. Darling, I want to go to the opera theater this evening. Yeah, okay. I'll take you there. Maybe it will help you to relax. Thank you. Well, we should go home and prepare for that. Okay. Taxi. Over here, please. At the opera theater. Ho. Oh. Grace, are you okay? I don't think so. They look creepy. Maybe we should get out of here. You're afraid of bats. I forgot that. Yeah, let's get out of here. Taxi, over here. It's so cold here. I guess we can't get any cab today. Let's walk home. Okay. But suddenly... Stop where you are. Oh no, a robber. Shut up, and don't try to scream. Okay, Cade, what do you want? Old man, you had to ask that dumb question, huh? Give me your money and your wallet. Now. And that necklace too. Okay. Just leave us alone. You'll have them. Put them on the ground. Very well. Ha ha ha. Happy day. Hey, man, how are you doing? What the? Who is that? Me. <laughs> Give they back their belongings. And then get out of here. Uro, what an unlucky day. I'll remember you. Here you go, sir. Thank you, Cade. You two shouldn't wake here at this hour. It's dangerous. Don't you know this place called the Crime Alley? We didn't know that. Who are you, boy? And what are you doing here? I'm on my way back to the orphanage. What? what? Well, my parents had been gone since I was four years old. Poor little boy. Excuse me, I'm leaving now. He seems like a nice kid. I think so too. At least we should take him home. Oh, there's another cab coming at us. Kid, wait. Huh, sir, madam, have you been following me? Where is the orphanage? We want to take you there to thank you for saving us. Please don't deny it, kid. Thank you. You two are so kind. I won't deny it. Go to get in the car. At the orphanage. Thank you for taking me home. You're, You're welcome, welcome, boy. Ouch. You fool. How many times do I need to tell you not to sneak past out of here in the evening? Sir, can you please calm down? 
He just saved us from a thug. What? Haven't you tired of being a vigilante? Huh? Don't be a tough boy. Otherwise, I will kick you out of here. Now get back in. Okay, sir. I'm sorry. Hey, why did you do that to him? I am the manager of this place. Why can't I do that? Get out of here. The reception time is over. That was unacceptable. He was so rude. Don't mind that. Let's go home, dear. Fine. A few days later. Huh? Good morning. We meet again. Hello, bye. How are you doing? I'm okay. Thank you for asking. How can I help you? We want to adopt you, boy. What? Why? I don't want to be rude, but... Don't you to have any children? Of course, we have a daughter. But she is studying abroad now. We want to adopt you because you saved our lives. Besides, I can't have children again, but I still want a son. And one more important reason is that the owner of this place seems like a toxic and cruel man. A person like that will have a bad influence on you. We couldn't accept the way he hit you that day. So would you come and live with us? This is a good chance. But are you sure about this decision? Of course, we're sure about this. Then I won't deny it. Thank you for adopting me. By the way, my name is George Pennyworth. And I'm 14. Okay, good. From now on, your name will be George Collister. Come on, let's take you home. Back to Mr. McAllister's house. Wow, is this a castle? I've never seen such a wonderful house like this before. Haha, <laughs> do you like it? Of course, I do. Which school do you attend now? Oh, the orphanage stopped funding my studies over a year ago for unknown reasons. My god, that's against the law. Don't worry, George. We will send you back to school. Thank you. I love going to school. Good. That's the spirit. After returning to school, George quickly showed his intelligence. Well done, boy. Thank you, teacher. Next week, you will compete in a competition for top students. Good luck with that. Thank you. I will bring glory to our school. Well spoken. I'm counting on you. A few weeks later. Mom, Dad, I have good news. What is that, son? I won first prize in the previous exam and was awarded $5,000. Oh my god. Well done, my son. Thank you, dad. We are so proud of you. Thank you for your words. I will continue trying. Well spoken, my boy. Let's go out for dinner today. That's awesome. One afternoon. Let's go, darling. We should hurry up. Otherwise, we'll be late. Huh? Where are you going? We are going out this evening, son. Take good care of our house, okay? Okay, leave that to me. Okay, I'm on my own now. Huh? Who are those two? What are they up to? They are out until tomorrow. We can act this evening. But the kid is still inside. Come on, man. He's just a stupid little kid. We can handle him. Let's get out of here and come back later. Okay. Stupid little kid. Huh? I'll show you what this stupid little kid can do. And that evening. Let's go. And do it carefully. What the? Oh. Shut up. You moron. Keep your voice down. Shut up, Marv. You should do the same thing. What, what the? the? Not again. I can't take it anymore. Let's go upstairs. Right? Where are you? Show yourself. All right, gentlemen. There's no way to escape now. What? what? A cop? cop? Marv, Harry, you guy are under arrest. Well, it seems like the stupid little kid made you can't escape jail, huh? You? We remembered your face. This is not over yet. Thank you, officer. Please take them away. Okay, kid. You should use a better kind of lock. I'll keep that in mind. The next morning. Oh my god. What happened to our home? Why there is a policeman here? Calm down, madam. Yeah, relax, mom. He is here to take care of me. But what happened? There were two thieves try to intrude on your house. But this clever boy and his homemade traps caught the thieves. Your parents are home now. I'm leaving now. Thank you, officer. Thank you for taking care of him. That's just my duty. Well done, George. We can entrust everything to you. Adopting you was the right decision. It's good that you love me like your own child. 
I hope Ursula and I will get along. Don't worry, she'll like you, George. A few years later, Ursula came back from her study abroad. Ursula, Ursula. Over here, dear. Mom, Dad. Welcome home, sister. What did you just call me? Who are you? He's your adopted brother. What? Why wasn't I told? There is no way I'm going to accept this. I want to be the only child in this family. Go away. Ursula, don't be rude to him. What? Why are you defending him? Calm down, dear. Let's go home. Go away, boy. She is triggered. Ursula, enough. Another time. Why are you still here? Where are mom and dad? They are not awake yet. Good morning, sister. I prepared you some pancakes and a glass of warm milk. Here you go. Enjoy your breakfast. How gross. What? I don't need you to make me those things. Why don't you just get the hell out of my house, huh? At least give me a reason why you hate me that much. We don't share the same bloodline, that's all. What's all this noise about? No, nothing. I broke the plate and the milk cup by accident. Ursula, did you mess with him again? No, Dad, I didn't. I heard the whole thing. Can you stop being toxic? Dad, I am your biological child. Why do you choose to defend an orphan with no parents over me? That's enough. You are being so unreasonable. Dad, stop. Don't. Ursula, are you okay? Get your hands off me. Mom, aren't you going to do something? Say something. Calm down, darling. She is still our daughter. Jared, can you help us to clean up this mess? Okay, Mom. I'll do it. Only I can live in this house. I'll make them kick you out of here. Calm down, sister. Shut up. I'm not your sister. Don't worry, son. Ursula is not a naughty one. You just need to care about her. She'll understand one day. Yeah, I hope so, Dad. But then one night... Huh? Where is the diamond? It's always on my table, and now it's gone. Darling, what's wrong? I lost my diamond. Really? Should we tell the police? Yeah, we should call the police. That's important to me. Dad, are you looking for this? Ursula, why did you take it? Give it here. Don't touch my things. Are you sure that I'm the one who took it? I know what you are about to say. You want to slander George, right? No, but there is one truth that you need to accept. He is the one that stole it from you and tried to sell it for money. I have the proof here. What can I do with this? No way. It cannot be true. I just showed you George's true nature. He has been pretending to be a nice one only. He is a thief. You should kick him out of here. Did you all just talk about me? George, take your belongings and get out of my house. You are not allowed to be here anymore. What? Why? You can still ask that question. You stole Dad's diamond. I recorded the whole thing. So don't try to deny it. What? No way. You are slandering me. Enough. I trust you and you let me down, George. You should get out of here before I call the police. So this is all your plan. And your plan worked. What nonsense are you babbling? Okay, I'll leave. But I want to tell you something. Thank you for raising me all these years. And the truth will be revealed one day. Good riddance. Don't ever show up in front of me ever again. You orphan. A few days later. It's so cold here. I have nowhere to go now. But I'm 17 already. I can't even go back to the orphanage. Huh? I think I've seen these two before. What are they babbling about? I'm sure they are not home today. Yep, I hope so. This is our chance. Let's try to get a huge sum this time. And if I meet that little boy again, I will teach him a lesson for being annoying. There's no doubt about that. Well, well, we meet again. They released you already, huh? Huh. That boy. I don't know why you came for us, but you are so doomed now. We will deal with you this time. Prepare yourself. Hold on a sec, please. What? what? Are you sure you know that house more than I do? You may need a guide if you want to break into that house with no effort. Why do you want to help us now? Isn't it? Enemies of enemies are friends? What the hell do you mean? My stupid adoptive sister made my adoptive parents kick me out of the house. And now, I have nowhere to go. Um, 
Well, now what? Shall we cooperate? You'll get some money, and I'll have my revenge. Come on, I'm so sorry for what happened last time. Very well, I agree. Yep, I agree too. But don't even think about betraying. Don't worry, I'll never do that. We should go right now. They are not home tonight. All right, lead the way. Here is the place. Wait here, I will try to open the door. Don't bother. We can do that. Done. The jewelry and money are in the left room on the second floor. Take whatever you want. Okay. <laughs> Alright, we let's get out of here before someone see us. What? Is that a police siren sound? Freeze, all of you. Raise your hands in the air. Hey, you kid. What did you do? Stop talking. The next morning. What the? What happened to our house? Good morning. Are you Mrs. and Mrs. Callisto? Good morning, officer. What happened? Well, your house was robbed again last night. You should go inside and check if something is missing. Okay. Thank you, officer. No. There is nothing missing. Can you please remove them from our house? Okay, but I think you should meet one person at the police station. What? Who could it be? Just come with us and you'll know. Okay. okay. At the police station. What, George? Officer, did you bring us here to meet a stealer? No, it's not that. He is not the stealer. He is the one who reported to us the information about those two robbers. How confusing. I don't understand anything at all. Let me say this. He is innocent. He even helped us catch those guilty ones. But for some unknown reason, he asked us to catch him along with those guys. I think you should talk together for a while. Thank you, officer. Okay, no problem. What are you playing at? Say it. Are you despising me? Ursula, enough. George, talk to me. What happened? I didn't steal your diamond, but you didn't trust me and chased me away. And when I met the thieves again, knew their plan of intruding on your house again. I could let them do that, but my honor wouldn't let me ignore them. And the reason I wanted the police to arrest me was that I had nowhere else to go. It's cold out there. That's all I want to tell you. You can go home now. Not without you. Thank you, but I'm not coming back. That's right, Dad. Just ignore him. Shut up, Ursula. You tell us the truth right here, right now. Did you slander him? No, I didn't. Then would you dare swear on our lives that you didn't slander him? Come on. What are you saying? Answer us. Okay, I'll tell you the truth. I slandered him. See, I told you. Why and how? Huh, Ursula? Listen, I want to say sorry, George. Can we make peace? What? Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. Okay, it's good that you're not hating me anymore. Do you want to go to my room and play Roblox for a while? Okay, let's go. George, I need your help. What? Can you go to Dad's room and get me the diamond on his table? What? Why do you want that? Dad is going to destroy me if he finds out. Come on, help me. I just want to take a photo with the diamond. Besides, I'll return it. I'm not talking it away. Hmm. Please, help me. I'm busy with the game. Okay, wait here. <laughs> okay, here you go. Take a picture with it quickly. I'll return it. Don't worry. I'll do that. Cook me something, okay? Hmm, fine. Back to present one more time. That's all that happened. I wanted to get rid of him. You were being so unreasonable. George, I'm sorry. Would you come home with us? Yeah, come home with us. Okay, Mom. Okay, Dad. Thank you for welcoming me. Say sorry to him. I'm sorry, brother. Did you just call me brother? Yes. Then okay, I forgive you. All right, let's go home. Dinner party. George, I'm so sorry for what I've done to you. Sister, it's okay. I understand how you felt at that time. If it were me, this would be hard to accept. While cooking, my mother also told me a lot about you. I hope you don't blame your mean sister. Ha ha ha. Mean but cute. I'm sorry and thank you so much, son. Yes, we are very proud of you, 
very smart and brave. And also very handsome and kind too, my brother. Thank you, parents. Always give me good things. Sister, don't make fun of me anymore. I know you're very <laughs> handsome. Okay, okay. Tonight we hold a small party to celebrate Ursula. Her track record is very good and she was offered a job by a large reputable company. Wow, congrats, sister. I really admire you so much. Ha ha ha, it's so embarrassing. Thank you so much, everyone. And at the same time, we have good news for George. What's, What's that? that? With excellent achievements, hard work and studying over the past time, we will prepare for your next study abroad trip. It's great. I will always try to make my family proud of me. Yeah, yeah, that's great. Let's raise a toast. Enjoy the party before it cools down. Okay, babe. Yes, yes dad. dad. The end.